Hi, hi guys, this is Angie with Don't Pay Retail Thrift, and we're going to interrupt this regularly scheduled thrifting video with a husband's haul. Um, my husband loves to go thrifting with me and or by himself. He went last weekend when I had to go to work um, and picked up a few cool things. I just thought I would share with you guys. Some of it will resell, and then a few of the pieces I'm sure I'll keep because I'm just like that. Um, we'll start with the uh, leads. I'm not. I'm. I think these are vintage. I don't see a date on them anywhere. But these are. Uh, I think Statler. They're just replaceable leads. Um, they slide out in this little wooden box. Um, and it's just replacement leads for um, for pencils. And I think a lot of like draftsmen in those type of people use these. So anyway, he got to about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine boxes like this, which are full and uh, new, or well, new vintage. He got a couple other uh, little kinds like this. I don't know if that what that says, K O H I Nor. And there's a couple leads in each one of these little guys. We have actually um, made some really good, insane money on pencils. Um, I'm not going to share the exact kind that we've made insane money on, but if you go back in some of my videos, you, you'll probably see them. Um, but anyway, it's just something that I think people don't think about when they're thrifting, or maybe they maybe they do, maybe they don't. And that says Austria right there. Um, but people do buy these leads. A lot of draftsmen or, or maybe artists or whatever. Um, this, there's uh, Here's another kind like right here. But if you're ever thrifting, um, I, I recommend always look in the desk in the offices. You know, there usually there's like an office somewhere in the house, and it's got like stuff you don't really want, staplers, which staplers do sell well too. Um, but, you know, paper, pens, just that kind of stuff. But look for the leads because they do sell, and a lot of people just don't even think to look for them. Um, so he got that big stack there, which we will probably just uh, list as a lot. And here was another type. Um, it comes almost looking like a pencil with a little gold tip. And there's um, extra leads in there. And that one says, let's see, there's another one. Let's see if I can read that. I'm not sure what comes after that A right there, but Faber, Castile, Drawing and Retouching Refill Leads. Those also sell really well. So he actually grabbed all these. I think three of those that went with that pile. And then just a bunch of other little old pencils kind of stuck together. And then there was some cool little red red leads in here. I used to love these when I was in school. Your teacher always had her, her red pencil with the red, with the red lead. <laughs> um, most of this will probably just throw away, but I'll keep the little red ones. And there's a couple other colors in there. But yeah, the leads was pretty cool. I can't remember what he said he paid for these. Um... But I think it was, you know, like 50 cents or a dollar for all of it. All of that was kind of kind of stacked in that box right there. Um, something else he got was this um, little Montgomery Ward's hand viewer. It's for, it's for slide, two by two slides. And that's pretty cool because I actually bought a, at one of my estates as I went to, I bought this big thing of um, slides and I couldn't really see them so he got this thinking we could look at them um, Montgomery Awards I think I think they changed from Montgomery Awards to service merchandise I'm not totally sure but I remember we had a Montgomery Awards when, when I was growing up but it's just a little hand viewer I'm not sure how old it was I can't even it was originally 229 but I was opening it up it's really cute it's this kind of blue teal color it actually has a slide in it um, when I held it up to the light, it's three ladies, three older elderly ladies holding a little cute little baby in blue, and they've got like a Jesus statue on the wall behind them. It was just left in there, I guess, but it kind of looks like a little TV. But as I was looking at it, I was going to turn it on because it said it has batteries, but it, it actually doesn't. I think it has like a charger or something that didn't come with it, so that's a bummer. It looks like that didn't come with it. Because um, there's two little holes right there, and there's two little holes in the back. So, anyway, um, that's a bummer. But you can still kind of stick the stick the slide in there, I guess. I I don't, can't remember what he paid for that, but it wasn't very much. He knows I've been looking for more uh, butterfly gold, 
and um, he found me two more bowls. This is the nesting bowl, I believe, um, 403. But I'm I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is my favorite butterfly gold that I grew up with. This pattern here. So this is kind of like butterfly gold and wheat pattern mixed together. I don't know if it had a specific name. Butterfly gold wheat. I've seen some people call it, but there is the butterfly right there. But anyway, that's a. It was a really pretty. He paid a dollar for this one, and I actually have this exact same bowl. But I think um, there's a little bit of damage here, but it's it's still really pretty. It's really pretty on this side. I'll probably just um, I'll probably still keep it and put it with my other one. And then this one is one of the one one of the ones that go with it, number four hundred two. Same pattern, just a little bit more of a yellow gold than a orangey gold. This was in this one's in really good shape, very pretty. But a dollar for both of those. That was I was glad he grabbed those. Um, and then he found these two brand new in the box glass shelves. It's a glass shelf with satin nickel mounts, um, kind of the like looks like that. But these were. I want to say they were sold at Bed Bath & Beyond for $29.99. Well, this one says $29.99. This one is the exact same shelf. And it says $19.99. But anyway, he got those for free. They were at a um, estate sale that had finished the day before. And he went back by because the guy said, come back by if we have anything tomorrow. We're just giving it away. Um, so we got those for free. So I don't know. I might just list those. I don't necessarily have a place in mind right now that I would put them, but um, for free and in, new in the box. Somebody might want them for their bathroom. And then he got this crazy light, light right here. I'm not sure why he got this. I guess because it was just kind of a neat and different item. But it is actually a sun lamp from, the from I think, 1984. It has a cool yellow color. Um, let's see. It says, danger, do not use without proper protective eyewear to avoid eye injury. Refer to label on bottom of base. Pull plug when relamping. Look at that huge bulb. It's kind of dirty, but that is huge. Look at that. And it's just kind of funny. This is like actually a sun lamp. Let's see if I can turn it over. Show you the bottom. I want to say I think he paid a dollar for this. Um, manufactured in 1984. General Electric. Sun lamp kit. And then there's like exposure things right here which is so funny do not exceed exposure time in table below 30 inches sensitive skin four minutes average skin six minutes could you imagine sitting under this light to try to get a suntan that's just crazy <laughs> i haven't actually plugged it in to see how bright the light is but i'm not sure what he's going to do with that he will probably list that on like ebay or something but this was really cute. I absolutely love this little Olympic thermic jug made in USA. It's it's pink. It's so cute. Hot or cold insulated. Um, it's in, It was a dollar. It's in really good shape for its age. And the inside, if I get the lid off, is actually enamel. So you have your lid. And that is actually enamel in there. And it's really clean. Um, I'm not sure what we'll do with it. We'll probably list it. He said he, he said a green one sold recently for maybe like 30 or something dollars. Um, that twist off, but it, I can't do it with my left hand. But um, I thought that is so cute. <laughs> it just looks so cute to like go with our camper. But I, won't actually, I probably won't actually use it. Um, but I just thought it was adorable. And I guess he did too. So he grabbed it. I think he, he knew I would like it. So we'll see if we sell it or if we keep it or what we do with it. But anyway, that's his haul. Hope you enjoyed it. Come back for my next video. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. See you later. Bye-bye.